Saturday Rose Group Diaries. We are here to bring you more interesting videos. Kama kawa, what do you say babe? Kama kawa, kama dawa. <laughs> Tuko ndani ya studio. Mm -hmm. And uh, leo tumarete uh, a very good topic yeah. that uh, we can discuss. Mm -hmm. And get to hear also on your comment section. What type of friends do you have? How to keep friendship? And also, should you, uh, you know, show some people the door if they don't, uh, you know, show interest in you in terms of friendship? So today, we are very glad that you are keep watching our videos, sharing our videos, you know, commenting and even encouraging us. Even when we sometimes make mistakes, maybe there's uh, volume is down or something, you always come to our inbox and advises us to increase maybe volume the next video so we are glad that uh, with your support we are growing and uh, the subscribers are going up so we can't wait to hit 1000 subscribers and thank you so far for your all encouragement because of you guys we are here to give you amazing inspirational content yeah. yes babe uh, where do we begin <laughs> You know, First and foremost, yeah. we are here yeah. to talk about friendship and uh, we are going to share how friends have changed our lives in terms of uh, uh, spirit, they have uh, changed us even in our reasoning, the way we, pers we see life, you know, from all perspectives, even uh, when you are low, you know, the friends who can uh, bring joy to your life mm. friends who who, 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 who who impact who bring an impact into your life mm. that's what we are here to speak about yeah. yes 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 actually during the weekend here is a Eid holiday for the Muslims we went to the church and we met a few friends and also you know one thing I learned friendship is intentional it's something that you decide that you know I need to get to know how other people are doing, what is uh, you know, struggles, how can I be there for them, how do you pray with, along with them, what challenges they are going through, what is their happiness, what makes them happy, what is their joy, mm -hmm. you know, what brings joy to their lives. So we encountered a few friends and we shared a moment together. But uh, in my childhood, I always thought that friendship is forever. You know, if you have a child friend, you grow knowing each other until you, you know, at your old age. But it, I was shocked, you know, as I was growing up, or as I am now uh, full grown, uh, you know, I, I, I discovered that along the way, I've dropped some friends and I've picked up a new friendship. And even in our marriage, there are some people we used to be friends and we are no longer friends. Not for a bad reason, just, you know, because we are to grow in friendship. Maybe because of distance, because of other commitments. Do you hold any childhood friend until now? Honestly, I can say uh. yes. I have uh, two, two friends that uh, we grew up together. Even we went to primary school together and uh. we still communicate of which uh, we call uh, we call ourselves sisters mm. because our friendship has been uh, has been uh, based on uh, uh, you know so many things mm. and we've encountered so many challenges more so when we were growing up because you know uh, we can say that we were not financially stable but we could afford something and uh, we could always try to to forgo other things and uh, try and meet and uh, you uh. know laugh play together and it has remained until now though it's not that uh, strong we can say i think because of distance but we still communicate and we still hope we will continue uh, molding our friendship even to a greater level and uh, by so doing i've also met uh, more friends along the way yes. and uh, they have even become more 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 sisters to me yeah. because we started as just 
just friends you know the way you can meet someone and you say oh, we you just introduce each other then you say oh this is my friend this is my friend and you don't know like this person is going to to make an impact into your life like uh, god uses this person even to change you spiritually more so those are the friends that i treasure so so much because they have really changed uh, my life so much more so to know christ starting with my husband here yeah. <laughs> because we started as friends and yeah. uh, my husband uh, as i as i told you earlier what made me even to like uh, my husband more to get attracted to him mm. is because he tried to change my life spiritually because he bought me a bible as my first gift and that really uh, drew my attention to him and i wanted even to know him better and better and those are the kind of friends we are talking about even at the moment we have those friends that we hold dear to and uh, they have really really uh, changed our lives in so many ways we really give thanks to god because it has been a journey with them and we know we owe them a lot but god may continue blessing them yes yes mm -hmm. that's very beautiful narration mm -hmm. of friendship yeah uh even me on my side i have a friend that we school together in high school mm -hmm. named hope but he's, he has been more than a brother mm -hmm. when i got involved in an incident uh, back 2017 he was there for me when i lost my dad he was there for me mm -hmm. even when i was uh, preparing for my wedding he stood by me yeah. and we still communicate and there's some friends not for any bad reason i have dropped off because if i'm married and i'm engaging more on uh, you know people who are not interested maybe in family example they may draw me back you know and uh, start reasoning like uh, i don't need a family so what whatever i'm saying is that tell me your friends or show me your friends I'll show you your character. If your friend is a good friend of an outstanding character, you definitely have, you know, a good outstanding character. But if your friend is somebody who thinks of the world, things, who is not interested even, you know, spiritual nourishment, yeah. we should at least have a boundary of friendship. Let not your friend take you back to where you don't want to go. Yeah. And uh, another thing, we have even spiritual friends. Uh, we call them brothers and sisters. In church, in even in social life, people you have met who have become part of your life. Yeah. And even before you make any decision, you have to reach out, hey, so and so, do you know I'm encountering this one? What is your advice? So those are the type of friends we are talking about. And the friendship is not uh, you know, based on gifts, you know, money. It's based just on commitment. How committed you are to each other. You are just uh, trying to find out how they are doing. If there is a way you can influence their life positively, and you, you know we are we are we are given, or God has blessed us with many different gifts. Even smile. If you smile at someone who's going through a situation, they will smile back, and that means that you have changed their their whole situation for them. So, those are friendship that we need to mold and keep you know uh, part of us as we grow so another interesting maybe question or observation do you think that uh, distance or money or yes let's just say status quo maybe you are middle class or rich or poor can change the whole thing about friendship like people want to be associated with certain people of their category or group or status? Actually, to be honest, what I've come to learn about uh, friendship is the friends we can categorize. Mm. Friends, spiritual friends are different from uh, uh, friends who are not into, into godly uh, things because these friends who are not into church or into gospel, they are more uh, into they, they they look at friendship mm. uh, according to to 
to the status quo mm. like this this cannot be my friend if she or he is rich wants to be associated with a this, rich person, this, this person yeah. but to be honest the friends that we are talking about here the friends that who are making us to sit here and talk about their friends that you can never find guys friends who know christ friends who are doing so well in life but want to associate with us we can't say that we are so poor but we don't have that much that it can make us associate with the friends that we have at, at the moment because for sure they, they are friends who who know god and friends who don't want to look down on those people who are not on their class so th those are the friends that we are encouraging people to find and you know this kind of friends you know uh, even you want to you distance yourself from them but they don't want to let you go they even uh, make a phone call they, they hey mm, what's up. up guys you're so quiet what happened how can we help mm. and guys we have a great testimony you know there's a time that we were doing badly and uh, something happened that uh, I lost my job and also my husband you you had a job you had a job but you he, he wasn't getting a, a good salary and you know what this our friends did they said guys we know your situation you know we know your struggle mm -hmm. and since God has blessed us eh, why can't we support you eh, for the time being uh, until you are stable can you imagine such a friend from nowhere you don't even you didn't even request them or uh, tell them oh guys I need your support and this this and friends who pray for you yeah. they just come out from the bottom of their heart they say you are our sister you are our brother you guys you are part of our family and they want to to they want to stand uh, by you, by you. so know. those are the kind of friends we we are saying we are differentiating from uh, godly friends and uh, these other friends you know what we mean yeah. yes yes thank you again uh, she has brought a very good uh, you know concern friendship is not about status quo mm -hmm. what you have achieved mm -hmm. because we are all equal in the eyes of the lord mm -hmm. and even the bible reminds us that, that your brother a brother is born for adversity, mm -hmm. but there is a, a friend who sticks closer than uh, a brother. A brother yeah. That means that friends are more concerned about your daily, you know, uh, routine. routine, what is happening, what, what, yeah. is, what, what, what are you encountering, you yeah. know, just for are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> just for encouragement mm -hmm. and also, you know, getting mm -hmm. along with you. Yeah, and again, and friends even who ask you, what prayer request do you have that we can even pray about yes those are the kind of friends guys we are asking you to have yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. when choosing friends let's consider mm -hmm. ourselves to be friendly first yes you have to be from friendly. yourself from the bottom of you your have to be honest yeah. you know people like mm -hmm. those people are honest yes true if you don't have something just say and if you have mm -hmm. just say i have it but i'm lacking this yes and communication mm -hmm. if somebody finds that uh, you are not straight you are not straight you today are you are saying that, this tomorrow uh, you are saying that not consistent. it's you always good to saying. be honest guys they will drop you off yes. they will show you the door mm -hmm. so even if we are talking about friendship mm -hmm. you first need to be f a friendly person yeah you yourself yeah so that you will attract mm -hmm. friendly people yeah. then you become mm -hmm. friends exactly so guys we are just and pray uh, and pray about uh, what friendship. kind of French friends that you want to keep. Mm -hmm. God will always show you, and God will always come through for you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So, guys, mm -hmm. today we are talking about uh, friends, mm -hmm. friends you have encountered in life, mm -hmm. friends you have dropped off, yeah. and friends that you, the new friendship that you have picked along the way, mm -hmm. and some friends that have become part of us that yeah. we cannot do without, without you know they are more than brothers, family yes, you know yes. so guys if you are going to have a friend consider being friendly first yeah then you attract more friends to your side yeah and must also choose godly friends friends who can influence your life your influence your life to know christ you know it's always 
good to put God first. And those are the kind of friends that we need. Then friends who will uh, who will uh, take you away from the word of God and uh, even uh, mess 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 your life. And because you know it's when uh, you're not you're not supposed to go into worldly things. Yeah. yeah. It's always good to build your friendship with people who know God. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's very true. So am I your friend? Yeah, <laughs> you are. Can you trust me with your life? Uh, somehow. <laughs> somehow, you cannot trust me with your life. No, I do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, she's my friend. Yeah. You have to marry your best friend. Yeah. Because if you marry your best friend, you will always have time for friendship. Mm -hmm. But if you marry because you want to get a companion, mm -hmm. then you have yourself to blame. Yeah. Until next time, mm -hmm. this has been the Arosis Diaries. Mm -hmm. Continue subscribing, watch my videos and sharing. And share with your friends. We'll keep, you know, <laughs> updating you with amazing content. Mm -hmm. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Exactly. They are roses on, on yeah. town. We love you guys. Love you. Till bye. next time. Bye. Okay, mm -hmm. bye. God bless. Bye.